Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Oger here, emergency physician. I don't remember how long ago, but a patient once told me that when he knew he was passing a kidney stone, he would drive his truck on a bumpy road to help the stones pass. This patient claimed that it helped him, and it got me thinking, could work, but as far as I know, there was no data or research to prove if it really did work. That is until I recently came across this article we're about to discuss. Roller coasters are awesome. I just love a good ride. Sudden accelerations, the drop in the gut, hearts racing, the wind in your face. I just love them. But some rides aren't smooth at all. The pang on your back, the kick in the lower abdomen, your neck's cracking on every turn, the feeling like you're going to pee yourself with the loop going upside down. These are symptoms that are shared with those that are passing kidney stones. Well, Dr. David Wartinger, a professor emeritus at the Michigan State University, said he was inspired to do a study after seeing multiple patients who had passed kidney stones after going to an amusement park. Most notable, one patient who passed kidney stones after each of three consecutive rides on the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad roller coaster at Disney World in Florida. The idea to displace these little stones before they become big stones and cause a lot of pain and suffering. He teamed up with Mark Mitchell, a urologist at the doctor's clinic, to create a 3D printed silicone cast of a patient's kidney. The researchers filled their life-size model of this kidney with kidney stones and urine and headed to Disney World. Holding their model at kidney height, the doctors took 20 rides on Big Thunder Mountain with three stones in the model at a time. They saw kidney stones move from the periphery of their kidney model towards the top of the ureter in many cases. Success rates were higher in the back of the roller coaster than in the front, actually 64 versus 17% probably because of the bumpier ride in the back, the authors found that moderate intensity rattling coasters might be effective at dislodging little kidney stones in the outer ducts of the kidneys and propelling them down towards the ureter, the tube that connects the kidneys to the bladder. Their report was published in the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association suggests that riding these coasters might help patients who have kidney stones that are five millimeter or less in diameter. More than 300,000 Americans seek emergency care for kidney stones every year, mostly because of severe pain from having a large kidney stone stuck in their ureter. It's unlikely that a roller coaster ride would do them much good because these are bigger stones. But this study is really designed for people who have these uh, smaller stones, said James Boren, a urologist and assistant professor at New York University, not really involved in the study. For now, if you know you have small kidney stones and want to give the roller coaster a try, talk to your urologist. You might be able to get rid of the kidney stone uh, and have some fun in the process, like killing two birds with one stone. But here's a warning. If you decide to give this a try, have your Percocet and your Sofren ready, as you might have a stone potentially get stuck in the ureter and find yourself puking your guts while having the worst pain of your life. At the happiest place, no, scratch that, the most painful place on earth.